Well, uh, howdy folks, I'm finally here. It is exactly 10 a.m. on a Saturday, middle of June. Stop you stupid trolling motor, stop, just stop it, stop it. It's not spot lock, it's spoof lock. It just spoof and spook, spook lock. Just scare all the fish. Give my, if you want to scare all the fish in a 50 foot radius, just press spot lock on a Garmin trolling motor and give it 10 minutes and it'll it'll do the job for you but today folks i'm here to catch a bass for first time in my life i've caught bass before i've caught i think the biggest one was 17 inch never weighed it um but i've caught a few bass but today i think is the first time in my life i'm actually targeting bass and uh, that's because I have to review this 2500 EXIST, that's the 2022. And I have to also review this X-Pride. And I gotta tell you, the two of them do feel pretty good together. Um, I have 5 pound Varivas Mono here. And I have 4 pound Invisix fluorocarbon, about 3 foot liter clear because the other line is orange i don't think it would matter too much the way i fish it here and the color of the water today pretty stained but i do have a three foot leader and i'm gonna start with the tadpole that i showed you the other day i gave you a close-up of this floor if you don't see it well here just go two videos back and you're gonna see it it's on a one gram jig head and on a float instead of jigging which i mean everybody does what their confidence is my confidence is you know what i do i do float fishing and i hook little dinks every time if i fish enough hours if i fish like six hours i'll catch five six dinks they're all eight or ten inches nothing big but i catch a lot of bass so that's my confidence i'm hoping to get something bigger on this guy I am using a, a live scope here, but I am not going to be looking for fish and throw on top of the fish. I don't do this. But what I do is, look, the edge of the weed line is 45 feet away from me. There is maybe a few fish in this case right in front of the weed line. One is six feet deep. My float is only like four feet deep, but that's okay. They will come up a couple of feet, I hope. Just gonna be casting the weeds, keep casting the weeds, enjoying the weather. The weather is gorgeous today. It's kind of hot, but because it's breezy, it, the weather is really gorgeous. So I'm gonna be twitching this tadpole here. To tell you the truth, this gear is so heavy, particularly the rod, that this time I'm kind of hoping I hook into a good channel catfish uh, because I don't know if I'll catch a bass I don't know if I'll catch a bass to load to load this rod and the hook is sticking out so good got something You're gonna be surprised to see that. You folks is gonna be surprised. It's in the mouth. Look at this guy. He hates them tadpoles. I mean, he's small. He hates them tadpoles, folks. Oh my god. Imagine if this tadpole was a little bit smaller. Then bluegill would be all over it. Let's see what we got now. Fish number two. Our first pass. So, it did the bite better than the bluegill for what that is worth. And he ate it pretty good too. And this fish ate, let me tell you, 
I've caught bass that didn't eat the trout magnet so good. This fish ate the the tadpole. It was in there deep. Folks, I think we need a change of plan. It's 11.30, right at noon. I don't think we're gonna catch... There's nothing wrong with my tadpole, but I don't think we're gonna catch very many fish right at noon, shallow. No wind, no nothing, you know what I mean? So, what I'm planning to do now is I'm gonna put the Helgramite here on a heavier jig head and I'm gonna get the heavy swim bait and I'm gonna go to some deeper points and I'm gonna start fishing deep. Look at this 23 feet here. Put this on the other side. This bank is deep. This bank is deep, folks. We're gonna hit with the Helgramite. One thing I wanna test right here. Let's see how. Two, three, four, five, six, exactly two feet per second, which is a pretty fast sink rate. Finally, something on the Helgramite. Sorry guys, I was listening to radio, catching up with the news. This guy ate a 3 inch Helgramite. I catch this just the same with a trout magnet. Couldn't catch nothing all day. Turn on my video. Wow, you wanna see this one. You wanna see this. You wanna see this. You wanna catch a nice bluegill. Get you some 3 inch Helgramites. In the mouth. No joke. Work. No snag. You wanna catch a nice bluegill. Get you some 3 inch Helgramites. I don't see any bed here. This is very steep. I cannot believe that this bluegill was defending something. And he cannot fit it in the mouth either. I think what's happening is they're hoping to kill it. You know, if you agree, like a piranha. They're hoping to kill it and then pick it apart. Like literally pick it apart, disintegrate it and then consume it. What else is new? Mm. Better fish, no? What is this? Something very small but fighting hard. Or something else chasing it. Well, that is my biggest smallmouth on uh, the Nico. Well, I got four of these, but this is the biggest. There's something else. That was a large mouth. I got these. Now I understand why nobody is fishing this bridge. The noise from the road is just ear splitting. Mm. One more. What is this? Large mouth. I don't know, maybe the Helgramite is too small too.
응, 가야지, 가야지. something ate the hell granite folks come on be a bass I knew there's gotta be a fish here, even though I don't see it on the live scope. How can there not be a fish here? Come on, be a bass. Be a good boy. No! God damn it! You're... Rubbed. So there is a branch there, and it went under the branch, but it was not snagged on the branch. It was just rubbing on the branch. You know, I, I lost a very expensive helgramite. Very expensive helgramite. Because the jig head costs, this jig head that I lost is Japanese. Costs like, I don't know, dollar fifty. And the uh, helgramite costs dollar fifty. I just lost three dollars. And I didn't even catch the fish. This could be a bass. It's not heavy enough to be a catfish. No, no, no. You're not going there. If you break me, you break me. You're not going there. I lost one exactly there. No, you are not. No, you are not. I said you are not going there. Okay. Ah! Hey, but toy time. I horse it a little bit too much. I mean, there is some, um, it looks clear, but there is some junk here in the water, so I wanted to get him clear out of there. Fish. Hopefully it doesn't go in a... Stupid snag again. I don't know how much to horse him. I do have five pound line, but if it has teeth, if it's a catfish... And this fish has... Uh, has weight. Let me try to scare him with the boat away from the bank I want to see this stupid thing it's got some head shakes Let me horse a little bit don't go there he's going where I lost the one Last time, see with the boat, I scared him. Come on. Come on. I just want him to go deep. Ok, 
Okay, see my leader. But I have a long leader. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow, folks! Oh wow! <laughs> I saw him. Can you guess what it is? It's not Gar. I thought it was a Gar by the head shakes. <laughs> That's funny. Can you guess? It's not a channel catfish. <laughs> That's funny. Force him now. <laughs> Finally, I catch something. That's a flathead, folks. That's a cute little flathead. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm kind of happy. Now, if, if it was the same channel catfish, I don't know what difference it would have made for testing tackle. But I would not be so happy. But with this guy, <laughs> he got this big mouth and he's kind of smiling. Got him pretty good though. I really should net him so I don't lose my... Uh... I have a net. Why am I doing this? Come here, buddy. We'll take care of you, buddy. We'll take care of you, buddy. I wouldn't mind catching a... Really? I wouldn't mind catching a 15-pounder. <laughs> this is not the biggest uh, flathead I have caught, by the way. Was bigger than this dog. He ate a whole bluegill. Yeah, Helgramite. <laughs> Let's check this dude. <laughs> Beautiful fish. No parasites. I don't know what you can see, but. It has no parasites, very healthy skin. That's a healthy fish. And look at this mouth. Nyam, 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 nyam. Look at his mouth. Nyam, 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 nyam. <laughs> Gorgeous little flathead. This fish is in perfect health, folks. Some bass anglers hate them, but don't hate the flatheads. If you caught a channel catfish this size and you killed it, I wouldn't care. But this guy is... Uh, this guy is... Is gonna make one day some, some kid very happy. I don't know what the hell this is. Some weird Japanese jig with broken head. I'm gonna leave the hook open. That's how I'm gonna fish it. On the crow. It's sad, but I'm pretty sure this is the biggest bass I caught with the X Pride and the exist. Hopefully I didn't hurt you, buddy. <laughs> 